that NARS foundation is everything, y'all. Mm. Mm. And my concealer, of course, is um, LA Girl. I like girl. Today I use to highlight, I use an extremely light one. It's like my lightest one I have. Where'd it go, though? So I have toffee. Almond. Warm honey, which is what I use today. Warm honey is probably like um, the lightest one that I have when I want to, you know, lighter highlight, I guess. This is toast. I got this because I thought it could be um, a good contour color, but it's basically like a my skin tone also like the toast damn they're the same color so i think i gotta go like real I, I gotta go to like the darkest shade to do a real contour and then fawn fawn is like um fawn is like my center of my face color like and i'll put beautiful bronze on my edges so i have one two three four five six of them today for foundation I'm gonna shoot some videos today, so this is the NARS Share Glow Foundation. My second time trying it out now. I wore it outside, it lasted great. Now, this is a true test because I don't have any primer. I ran out of primer, so I just did my makeup without primer. Now, I'm a believer in primer because one, I don't like to just put foundation on my skin like that. Just even though I have a really good moisturizer on. That barrier between the moisturizer, the cleanser, not the cleanser, the primer, and then your face is good. Like in my mind, I like that separation, you know? So when I don't have a primer, I'm like devastated. But today I said, F it, Wayne Summers is home because we have a snow day and I need to record some videos. And not this type of video. <laughs> I need to record a real. Wayne Summers production video. Okay, so um, I'm waiting on him now. Yeah, that's it. But I just wanted to come show you my face. Mm, 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 mm. My hair's not done or anything. It's just up like that. Um, nothing's in the sides. I'm gonna put some stuff in the sides. So let's do that together. Cause you know, some of you know sense having bitches be like, "What are you putting your sides? You don't put nothing in your sides." I'm like. Nah, I just, I just work on my top and just leave my sides dry and ashy and go outside. <sighs> so I just sprayed some water just to um, freshen it up on my hands. In my hands, rub it together and just, you know. Then, um, Karen's Body Beautiful Sweet Ambrosia Leave-In Conditioner. Not a lot. When that sweet ambrosia hits your hair, yo, instant softness, instant softness. Combo, Curl Enhancing Smoothie and Curl Enhancing Souffle. That's how much smoothie, not a lot. Souffle is sitting right next to it. Can you see it? That much. Spread it around. Always put some on my edges, and then last thing, some kind of oil. This is the Shea Moisture Reconstructed Finish Elixir. One spray of that in the palm of my hands, and do the same thing. You could brush it, but I like that rugged look hair down Shea Moisture Thickening Mist just on my roots Not 
natural rocks um, hair mist on my roots all down my shaft I'm gonna move so put that in the roots that smell your lip no, it smells like cheese or something burning or something probably people are upstairs in the kitchen maybe um, some oil and just put oil all over my scalp. Now, I don't do this every time, but it's due for some oil. So I just put the oil all around and massage it. That's the key for me keeping these in long because you have to moisturize your scalp keep your scalp happy you know what's real talk what I wanted to tell y'all you know how y'all love my baby boy right and I appreciate it and y'all think he's like you know so I want you guys to praise him you know when y'all see him and say he's the cutest thing and he's so this he's so that Wait, I also want you guys to scold him because let me tell you my complaints. My complaints are I go to pick up him from school. I go to pick him up from school. His teacher says he constantly is talking. Constantly, constantly, constantly. Now I was a talker, you know, but I still did my work. And then I went to school in Barbados. So if you was a talker and then you kept talking, you kept talking, you didn't listen to the teacher, they fucked you up. That's the difference. Up here, they can't beat you. You know what I'm saying? But this is my number one complaint from him. Now, he is very smart. He can do very well. He can do better, I should say, because he doesn't put enough effort into his work. He, like, he'll read the problem. And he'll think he knows the answer, so he'll just put the answer and go about his business. But doesn't don't understand that sometimes it may be a tricky question and you have to actually read the question. Like he's always in a rush for something. I don't know, even when he eats, he's rushing like he has seven brothers and sisters and they're going to come wake up and eat his food. So I want you guys to tell him, come. In all his nappy glory, right? Look at his face. You know, Y'all don't ever see this face. Y'all always see... Oh, that face, that happy face, this is the face of punishment. This is a face of un uh, when his mother is unhappy with him. This is that face. So tell him to be a good boy. Tell him to do his work. Tell him to don't be disrespectful in school to his teacher in class. He was in class and a lesson was being told and he sucked his teeth in the middle of the quiet. Just And guess what his reason was? He didn't want to um, do the lesson. So, see that? Look at the camera. Let them see your face. Tell him. Tell he him. He has to go to school. He has to get all his... He has to do his work so he could be something in the world. Tell him that. Please? That's all. You don't have anything to say? Hmm? You don't have anything to say to the people? Okay. The one thing he hates, embarrassment. <laughs> he doesn't like yeah. it. Anyway, talk to my son in the comments, y'all. I'm going to let him read them. Um, be nice. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't come for my baby, okay? But, yeah. You know. And I don't think anyone would come for my baby anyway. I'm just crazy. There's crazy people out there that pro probably would try to come for my baby. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Wayne Summers is not the one, okay? Wayne Summers could be next to the Pope, and the Pope could be like, oh, he's such a nice little baby. Wayne. First of all, Wayne Summers is going to be cursing the Pope out first. Like the then he's going to then put, no, he's not. He's the devil, right? You're the devil. I mean, I don't believe such a thing exists, but... So that's what I do. I twist right here first. I twist the back, right, just to keep it all neat back there. 
Then I twist I'm going to do a real tutorial, but you know, okay. Bring this all the way over here. And then start twisting. Just get it out of my face. And then I just grab the hair. And, oh shit, what am I? Eye? And then start to braid. So grab it and make sure that when you start braiding, you have all of the hair strands. And you have it, and it says, well, I try to have it as loose but tight as possible, if that makes sense. <laughs> if that makes sense to you. Because it don't make sense to me. <laughs> and then I just braid. So it's mostly twisting up here, twisting this way, twisting this way, making this nice little pocket right here, and then braiding down. And this is what I do when I want to twist it up. Sometimes I'll just um, I'll just grab the hair and twist it. But when I do it like this, when I braid it and then twist it, I mean twist it like this, it stays a little tighter and it gives a nice little um, design up there. See that? Like, looks different than just a regular old, you know. So what I do, right, is just twist it in this direction and bring it over. So twist it once, just like a half a twist. Bring it over, make it sit how you want it to sit, right? And then get a hairpin and stick it. See, it's just like wrapping it around here and just sticking it in there. Now, if I was going out, I would try to make it a little better, you know, however, but this is I'll fine. I'll put a pin here, just so I won't have any embarrassments in the street. Because, you know, I'll be running for the train and that shit falls right down. The pin gets loose. 